Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful updo that I made with a tucked under French braid. If you think, well my hair's too long to tuck under my French braid, it might not be. Give this hairstyle a try, see how it works for you. I know it certainly works well for me and I love it. We'll start this hairstyle by making a normal French braid. So I gather a section at the top of my head, split it in three pieces, and each piece is going to fight over who gets to be in the center. So this one wants to be in the center, now this one wants to be in the center. And now I'm going to add a little bit of hair to this side. And it wants to be in the center. A little bit of hair to this side. My mother taught me to French braid when I was a little girl, and that's what she told me. She said, you just think of each piece as though it wants to be in the center. Now when you have long hair like I do, when you're adding in these pieces to a French braid, if you're not careful, you can start to get tangles at the ends. So if you see what I'm doing, when I add a section of hair, I just kind of work my fingers all the way to the end, and that's how I avoid getting any tangles at the ends. So watch my fingers, see? Just kind of do that all the way down. A folded French braid is a fun updo. I remember when I first learned how to do this years ago, I was a teenager, I always thought that my hair would be too long to do this folded under French braid. And I was surprised and quite happy to realize, nope, it is doable. Almost done. I think one more section on each side should do it. And then we will just braid our hair the rest of the way and tie it off with an elastic. So that there's just a very small tassel. And then we're going to fold it up and under. So what I like to do is just start folding. And then we're going to tuck it up and underneath our French braid. Just kind of gently tuck it under. And we're going to bobby pin it in place. You just keep adding in bobby pins, trying to catch the braid and then attach it to your head. Yes, this is an updo that will require a lot of bobby pins, but that's okay. As long as you're not going through a metal detector at an airport, you should be good. Now I'm going to take this beautiful flower and clip it right here. Super pretty, so elegant, and as you see, very easy to do. You could wear your hair like this with the flower or without the flower, it's up to you. Now if you're thinking, okay, bobby pins alone are not going to hold my hair, I got gotcha. you. You just take little clips like this and you clip them up underneath. See if you can see where I clipped mine. Right there and right there. One on either side and they're holding my bun in place and then I just arrange the hair so that it covers those two clips. And that is super secure. So two options, bobby pins with a flower, or if you don't want a flower but you need a little bit more security, then try hiding those clips on either side of your bun like I did, and it should work great. I hope you like this hairstyle, and I look forward to seeing you again in our next Hairstyles for Long Hair video. Bye!